Welcome back in, everyone. Thank you for staying with us. I am here with Adam Robinson of the Bangor Daily News. Adam, thanks for coming on. How was your Thanksgiving? It was fantastic, Tyler. Thanks for having me on. No problem. Um, so we are just two weeks away from, uh, on Friday, we're two weeks away from the high school basketball season yeah. kicking off from our first Friday night fast break show. I know you're not part of that, but I'm excited for that. Yep. So now that we're at that season, right. we'll start talking a little high school basketball. We'll start with Class AA here. Bangor girls made a run last year. They're bringing back Emmy Streams. Yep. Can they make that final push this year, get past Oxford Hills, get past Chevres? I think they have a chance. Emmy Streams, uh, just an incredible defender, can lock up your best player. It'll be tough to get through Oxford Hills with Sierra Carson and Chevres with Manny Fitzpatrick and Emma Lazat. But if they can find someone who can score 10, 15, maybe a couple – uh, players on the team that can do that at a time every game. I think they can run with just about everybody. I think that's a big question mark is who is the supporting cast for streams. Last right. year you had the Barron twins, you had Layla Martinez. This year someone's got to step it up as yeah. you mentioned there. And then for boys, I think Oxford Hills is probably one of the better players in the state, Tegan Pelletier. Yeah, I would go as far as to say Tegan Pelletier is the best player in the state. Uh, they return a lot of guard play too. And they'll just go as far as Tegan brings them. Uh, J.P. Estrella's gone from South Portland, uh, and the AA boys title is up for grabs. It's going to be a fun, uh, fun region to watch, fun yes, class to watch. We'll move down, just go down the list right here. Talking about best players in the state in Class A yeah. on the girls' and the boys' side, the best players in the state graduated, leaving their teams that they led to a gold ball. Kind of to figure things out, you have Skowhegan on the girls' side and Nokomis on the boys' side. Right. Of those two, where do they go from there? Well, Nokomis brings back... Uh, five players from last year, Madden White among one of them, and I visited them this past week, and Coach Earl Anderson's very excited Love about Earl. what he has. Yeah, likes the um, experience they got from last year, and excited to see where this new group kind of takes them, taking from what they earned last year a Class A state title. And as for Skowhegan, they lose J.C. Christopher, but they still bring back Callaway LePage. Yeah. They bring back the Morris Twins. Can you see them getting back to that, that gold ball game, even winning the gold ball again? I think, I think that they can get to that spot. J.C. Christopher, obviously best player in the state last year on the girls' side, but you learn a lot from getting to a state game, learning how to win a state game, and I think that they'll take that experience they got from last year. They bring back enough this year, I think that they can find their way back into that title game. JC was a force in that semifinal, the regional semifinals game, but really she had a lot of help from a good supporting cast to get through the rest of the playoffs. I want to touch back on Class A boys because yeah. that top three was pretty heavy last yeah. year. Brewer, Skowhegan, Nokomis. And I see that top three kind of being heavy again. What do you see from those three teams? Yeah, Nokomis is, is going to fight and be right up there. I think Brewer is the team to beat probably in that, in that class. You have Brock Flagg. Um, Brady Saunders, so, um, and then Skowhegan brings back Adam Savage, who can score at all three levels, so I really like what those two teams have, but Nokomis isn't going to go down uh, without a fight, so I think it's three-team race, you always have somebody that comes up also out of that lower group, so I'm really excited for Class A, that's probably the, the class I'm looking at the most. That was probably one of the most exciting classes last yep. year too with class A. Um, so we'll move on now just again keep going down the classes. Yeah. Class B we'll start with boys right now. Ellsworth from the north making it to the state finals game but dropping that game. They lose Hunter Curtis but they bring back Chance Mercier. Can Chance bring them back to the promised land? Yeah there's a lot of hype around Chance Mercier this year. I really liked his game last year and excited to watch him a lot more being up here with the Bangor Daily News. Uh, i I think that he has enough. Obviously, Hunter Curtis, big loss. But I think that he can bring that group to the top. But it's going to be a, a tough run. What I liked about Ellsworth last year was just how quick their ball, the ball movement was. And yep. I think Chance was probably the main part of that. We'll go down to Class C now. That Dirigo Dexter state championship yeah. game, probably the best game of the entire tournament. I'll go out on a yep. limb here and say that. Yep. With Charlie Houghton hitting that buzzer beater, both teams return their best players. Can that, can that rematch happen? I think so. That Deergo team, you mentioned it with Charlie Houghton, a really strong player that maybe not a lot of teams and fans know of, but they know now. Charlie Houghton, Trenton Hutchinson, a um, lot, of, lot of guys in that senior class coming back. And like you said, Dexter brings back Will, and uh, I, I think a rematch is in order. 
And I think in Class C Central girls, they're going to be a team to beat in Class C girls North this year, at least. We'll see how far Izzy Allen can bring them. And yeah. then in Class D, Southern Aroostook just sweeping the state title games. Oh. One of them was a complete blowout. Do you see that happening again this year? Or is there someone from Class D South that can challenge them? Well, especially on the girls' side, I think Southern Aroostook, I mean, four in a row, uh, getting to the title game, I think that they'll make it five. They bring back a whole bunch of different players. Uh, on the boys' side, they beat Forest Hills in the, in the final. They lose Hunter Burpee, but they bring back Dylan Burpee. So um, we'll see. I think that's going to be a lot closer, uh, D boys, but um, especially the girls, Southern Roostick. What a powerhouse. Yeah, right. So those are our, our way too early predictions yeah. for the high school basketball season, kind of like they do with college basketball. College basketball, we no time to touch on Chris Marker today, but that's, that has to be an interesting beat to cover. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Chris is a great guy. He's got those guys really enjoying basketball. They're uh, they've won a lot of good games. They beat Boston College, and they're on the right track here. Awesome. All right, Adam, thank you for staying with us. We will be back for Friday night fast break when basketball season kicks off December 9th at the first show. I am looking forward to it. That's all the time we have for sports, though. We'll be right back after this.